In this ICT Basics video, we're going to go over re-delivery and rebalance. Since I've decided to put my focus on fair value gaps, I want to make a series of videos purely discussing uh, fair value gaps. And so the first video on the, uh, on the series of videos I'm going to make about fair value gaps, at least a few, uh, is going to be on re-delivery and rebalance. So we're here on the hourly micro NASDAQ, and I'm going to give you an hourly um, fair value gap right here. So we have an hourly sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Okay. Let's put that in the center. Um, you First off, you need to be able to identify what a fair value gap is. In this video, I'm going to assume that you know how to identify a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, or a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So I'm going to assume that you know how to identify um, you know how to identify a fair value gap. What is the difference between a re-delivery of, of a fair value gap and a rebalance? So when you have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, the, the first theory is that the market should come back and offer that same uh, inefficiency back to the buy side. So it's buy side inefficient, so the market should come back and offer it on the way up. When the market does that, when it makes its first pass up and it trades to the low of that first candle, that is what's referred to as a re-delivery. So it's re-delivering price. Now, it's not a rebalance yet. Okay, In order for price to rebalance the fair value gap, meaning that the market is back in balance, it needs to re-deliver, trade, trade and re-deliver the fair value gap, leave it, and then it needs to come back through. So it's not rebalanced until the movement back down the second time. That is when you have a redelivery, it leaves, and then it trades back through. So it's a three-stage process, basically. A redelivery, a trade away from the fair value gap, and then a trade back through it to the sell side again. So it's a three-stage process, really, for the market to rebalance a fair value gap. Okay, uh, let's see another example of that. Here we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Okay. When the market trades up through to the low of this candle right here, the, for the first time, the market re-delivers that sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency. When the market trades through, leaves, and then comes back through, back again on the sell side, and trades to the high of the third candle, that's a rebalance. So let's see if we can find a, a buy side example of, of that. So here you have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency on the one hour chart right here. So when the market comes back and offers this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency when it comes back and offers it to the sell side and it trades to the high of the first candle that is a re-delivery a re-delivery of price then notice that price what does it do trades up through that same buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency trades up through it rebalancing it and then it trades back down so we have a three-stage process here re-delivery rebalance and then trade back through again okay now the next thing that I'm going to end up talking about in terms of fair value gaps is the reclaimed fair value gap. So when price bumps up against that same fair value gap again. But in this video, I'm just covering a redelivery and rebalance. So just remember that a redelivery is simply offering a BISI back to the sell side or a SIBI back to the buy side. It's not rebalanced until price uh, leaves like it does here and then trades back through in the same direction. Okay, so re-delivery and then trade back through in the same direction, that's a rebalance. Okay, so re-delivery and then rebalance. In this ICT Basics video, we covered the difference between a fair value gap re-delivery and a fair value gap rebalance. Again, in order to re-deliver, a buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency must be offered to the sell side or vice versa. Okay, sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency, a SIBI, is offered to the buy side. When price leaves and then trades back through the same direction, that is a rebalance, okay? It's not rebalanced until it leaves and then trades back through in the same direction. Uh, it doesn't have to leave in a huge way, 
but it must leave and then trade back in the same direction, and that's a rebalance. Okay, guys, so in this ICT Basics video, we covered uh, re-delivery and rebalance of fair value gaps.